green living is huge right now as more people are definitely getting environmentally conscious with their lifestyle and with the things they buy. So today we are visiting a store in Marquina that advocates for sustainable living through the use of their products that are made from bamboo. Making the switch to more sustainable products can seem tricky at first because where do you even start? Well, there are a few small ways to go green that can make a big impact. One entrepreneur is looking forward to change the world one bamboo at a time. His name is Jamiko Hamlang, founder and managing director of the Bamboo Company. Bamboo is abundantly seen here in the Philippines. and. Um, it also represents the Filipino culture, meaning the culture of Bayanihan. So that's, that's one part of it. And second is the sustainability and the ability of bamboo to um, be a good material, not just for different products, but also as a building material. So it's really um, a, a material that has a lot of potential. That's why I, I focused on that one. Bamboo Company is a social enterprise that promotes sustainability by focusing on bamboo products. The aim of the company is to lessen global challenges such as plastic pollution and climate change. I love the environment. Uh, it's my, fir my first love. My first love is biology, so meaning um, it more on the life. So um, I also like adventure. So um, combining those two, I would like to preserve the environment so that I could see more of it. That's why I um, venture or focused on sustainability. And so right now, I believe people are starting to feel the effect of the pollution or the global um, challenges that we have. Plastic pollution, climate change, and all those things. Specifically in Metro Manila, na na-experience natin kung gaano nagbabaha kapag umuulan kasi ang daming barado na kalsada because of plastics. And also, gaano kainit na nahirapan na magpatubo ng mga uh, agricultural products. And yun. So, people are seeing already um, the effect of these challenges. But what we believe in as well is it's not too late. Meaning, we still have something. We still have uh, an action that we could do. It's really not mm, a big action, but it's a small change that we need to do every day. So that's what we push through with our clients or with our partners and our communities, that it's a one step at a time process. It's not a one click na, okay, we could change the world. It's one, one step at a time. So that's what we offer to them. To encourage us to live a more eco-friendly lifestyle, the Bamboo Company's first product was a bamboo toothbrush. They were the first to create bamboo toothbrushes in the Philippines. They use nylon bristles and a bamboo handle. Taking advantage of the success they have with their bamboo toothbrushes, the company created more eco-friendly items. So, um, the Bamboo Company has around 20 plus products already. So, we started with the bamboo toothbrush. So and, um, we catered already to different types of products such as uh, mug, tumbler, notebook, uh, lunchbox, cutlery, straw, there's a lot. So for the design process, we first um, ask, usually we do survey in our, for our customer na ano ba yung gusto nilang product na next. So from that, uh, since malaman na namin kung anong product yung gusto nila, we try to infuse uh, and see Paano ba magiging bamboo siya? Like, one example was the bamboo notebook. Uh, there's this a customer that they ask, could you do something like this? So, by asking and uh, by brainstorming together, uh, we come up with another product like this. So, it's really more on um, engaging our customers kasi sila naman yung um, partner namin talaga. So, they're the one who tells us what we should do and we ask them feedback as well in terms of the design. Aside from actively promoting sustainable products, the Bamboo Company also does good for the communities of the creators behind them. We support organizations that do conservation efforts. So, we have this partner called Baliena.org. So, they conserve our mammals 
uh, marine mammals here in the Philippines. So they conserve the whales, the dolphins, and yung other pa na manta rays. So we support them. Parts of our sales goes to them as a way for us to give back uh, to the community. So that's the environmental part. The social part is more on developing the bamboo industry here in the Philippines and um, offering an alternative income to rural areas. So right now, we have this community in Magdalena, Laguna, where we tap them and upscale them to produce bamboo products so that we could augment their income. We upscale them to produce bamboo products that we could buy from them and they could really have that uh, increase in their income. So right now, we have increased their income from 2,000 pesos to 4,000 pesos. Everyone ought to do their share to help Mother Earth. There are countless ways to go green and even small changes do add up. Start small. It's really by starting small that you create something, you create the change that you would like to have. Usually, people are frustrated that they, could see, they couldn't see the impact of the things that they're doing. But that's how it is. You cannot really see the impact by you alone. So we need to create a movement. We, cre we need to create people together doing the same action or activity for us to be able to create that big impact, which we advocate. Before we end, we would like to thank Pottery Barn Philippines, our gracious host for today's episode. We will see you again next week and please do share your thoughts with us on our social media pages. My name is Bianca Gonzalez. Thank you for watching. This is your ultimate guide to modern living.